All right, so we're at the Fraunhofer Institute at the IFA, at the, what is this, the Science and Technology Forum? Exactly, yeah. And uh, what, what are you doing here? Yeah. What do you have? We're presenting MUTED. MUTED yeah. is a project, a European funded project. It yeah. stands for Multi, <coughs> Multi User 3D Television Display. And this is about like a 3D application, uh, yeah. 3D TV. For 3D multiple, TV? For multiple users. Yeah. So what we can show you here, I mean, it's a project yeah. by the European uh, Commission. Uh, different partners are involved. Yeah. Our part in this project is the eye detection algorithm. Yeah. We want to detect as many people uh, as possible in a room as big as possible, as fast and as precise as possible. All right. What you can see here on the screen, right now, if, if you look yeah. towards the screen, maybe, you can see there is uh, <coughs> the first face. Uh, uh, <coughs> there is a face-like shape, yeah. the search. And in the second phase, it only searches for eyes in this pre-detected area. So you need all these cameras, or um, we right now we need all yeah. these cameras, but that's what exactly what we want to find out. How yeah. many cameras do we need? Okay. What kind of cameras do we need? Where do we yeah. place them? And right now you see uh, six cameras. That's three yeah. pairs of cameras. Three pairs of cameras. Yeah, and that's one uh, pair yeah. for the near view and two pairs for different uh, far views. Yeah. So our aim is to th we think about like a detection area of uh, five by five meters. Detect every user in this area. All right. Yeah. And five by five meters. Five by five meters. Here, it's around here, out right here. Yeah, but right now we work like. Three and a half meters. Three and a half maybe. meters. But it's only yeah. the setup. This is not the setup, final yeah. setup. All right. So you would put this over the TV in the room, and how? Yeah, not yeah? exactly this. That's exactly what we want to find out. What kind yeah. of cameras do we want to use? I'm pretty sure it won't be these. It won't cameras. look like this, yeah. Because right now we have LTV cameras uh, yeah. that have a refresh rate of 50 hertz, 720 by 576 uh, pixels. Yeah. And we want to find out exactly what, what technology we want to use for that. Our aim is to uh, detect the eye position as precise as possible. So we got a coordinate X, Y, and Z. We X, gotta, Y, and Z. Yeah, we got to give these coordinates to yeah. the partners that are developing the display technology. All right. And so this is just one part of the technology. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So the other part is being developed by partners. So the Montfort yeah. University in, uh, in the UK is working on that. Sharp yeah. is working on that, and Light Blue Optics yeah. and other partners. And uh, we we try to give them in real time uh, the coordinates of the eyes of the users in front of the future television. So because uh, here in IFA, there's mm -hmm. a few places I don't remember if it's Philips maybe mm -hmm. that have 3D screens, but you have to be in front, in the middle. Exactly. So somehow you would be able to f change that, so it changes. Yeah, yeah? that's the thought. We, we want to uh, develop, uh, or the project wants to develop a uh, television, which yeah. uh, is autostereoscopic. That means you don't need any glasses to see the 3D no glasses. effect. No glasses. Plus, it will be an adaptive system. So you can move in a certain area around, and the yeah. system will follow you. And, and gives you the 3D... Uh, in 100 picture. hertz, or how, how, how fast can it follow I you? I cannot tell you anything uh, more Because about something is physi physical behind it, no? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there, there will be a projection of light arrays to your eyes. Yeah. That's what I can tell you. When you're in the detection area, when you're outside the detection area, you can still see a 2D image. 2D outside the detection yeah. area. Mm -hmm. That sounds crazy. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but we're working on that. I yeah. hope we can maybe present something yeah. next year <clears throat> from right. the display side. Because I've seen also mm -hmm. at the DLP, they have mm -hmm. this new DLP technology, but you need the glasses. Yeah. And when, but when you've got them on, it looks really cool. It's mm -hmm. like boxing in the Wii, you see the... Mm -hmm. I mean, so the point would be... Whoa, okay. Yes, and I, right. Our aim with all our systems is always, uh, we want to have intelligent systems that yeah. adapt to the user. The user shouldn't like wear any glasses yeah. to see the 3D effect. We want to change the system so yeah. that the user doesn't have to do anything. Nothing. Yeah. Like for example, over there we have uh, a technology uh, hand tracking system. It's a very large hand tracking. display which you can uh, control by just one finger. One finger. Yeah. Okay. We will go there. Okay. okay. I'll you go there next. Go there. Oh, you finished now with this? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. But thanks. You're thanks welcome. a lot. Mm -hmm. So we are still at the Fraunhofer Institute. And there you are uh, controlling a user interface That's right. with your hand in the air. That's right. Actually, it's the, the finger we use as an yeah. input media, where the, the finger, the position of the finger is detected by two cameras above my hand. Yeah. The two cameras are integrated in this housing. Yeah. And they're looking downwards. Yeah. In addition to that, you will find a, a green line on my wrist. Yeah. 
This is used for positioning the hand correctly. All right. So actually, the, the laser line has no function just yeah. than, 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 than showing the position where the, if the hand is positioned correctly. If, if it's there. Okay. The, the the cameras detect the position of the of yeah. the fingertip in the end. So yeah. the silhouette of my hand is detected, and the yeah. algorithm is evaluating the two images of the two cameras, and in the end, the fingertip is is what I use as my mouse. So if I point into the screen, you can see how the yeah. The cursor arrow is following the, the movement of my finger, and in this example installation we have here, you can get uh, touristic information about the, the central station, for instance. You can uh, call different 3D models yeah. of. of uh, How of, do you of, click? By by simply staying on the on the buttons. On the, staying on it. So yeah. as if I if I stay longer than, than two seconds on the yeah. on the button, it will be selected. All right. Uh, if it works. Yeah. Some it has been a long day. All right. <laughs> so we have to make. But. Uh, yeah. So you just need this, and the green light is uh, compulsory. Or could you have a, a trans uh, invisible laser? You don't need you don't need no laser at all. Yeah. It's just for for the user. An indicator that that he knows where to put his hand. Ah, because just to know. But okay. the cameras, of course, have a, have a range which oh, yeah. they can detect. If you are outside, that, yeah. the, the, the detection system wouldn't be able to, to de oh, yeah. detect the position. So it helps you to to, to put your hand yeah. at the correct position. In, in principle, could you just have two cameras on the roof of your room and uh, that's it? That's right. That's right. If, and if as you long know as you where the sit, detection area is, yeah. Because it's your, your own setup, yeah. it's no problem. You don't need any laser light. Because you need the uh, constrained uh, setup. You cannot have uh, HD cameras filming the whole room. Of course you can. But, yeah. Uh, Will it confuse it's, it or? It's, it's, it, the whole system becomes more uh, expensive. Yeah. You have to have uh, bigger PCs for because you have bigger right. images that have to, yeah. the, the search algorithm has, has right. to work on. So. Of course, it could yeah. be done with high-resolution cameras as well. But you could just install it over your couch, for example. You could. And then it's and then you know where to put your hand. That's right. All yeah. right. So again, I can select the 3D model. Now you can have different functions to to manipulate the the, the model. This, of course, could be something. The, the content could be something totally else. You could set up something yeah. with your, at your at your your car dealer. You yeah. Go to your local right. BMW dealer and to select, you select yeah. the models, you select the, the, the yeah. color, the, the, the wheels, yeah. all kinds of stuff. So the finger actually moves it around. So you That's can move right. just your finger a little bit. Yeah. So nice. You can see. Actually, the system detects the position of the fingertip in yeah. all three directions. So it's a 3D detection system. Right. And we use it for our auto stereoscopic screens to control three dimensional objects. But in this case, we only use two axes, of course, so it can be used as a simple, simple yeah. uh, mouse. Are the cameras there? These cameras detect the position of my eyes. Of your eyes? Of my also, eyes. Also, for uh, 3D stuff. Uh, again, we, yeah. if we point on objects, yeah. we, we, we build up a line. So it goes from our eye over the fingertip to the object ah. we address by pointing at. So uh, well, the system detects the position of my eye, the position of my fingertip, and now calculates Whoa. where I'm I pointing at. Whoa, so I should put the camera up at your eyes, please. <laughs> Could I try and... Is it easy to change user? Uh, yeah? Of course. If like you, this? If you stand it up so I put, I put my, my, my camera at my eyes. Okay, will that help? Uh, to, but but to you show? shouldn't cover your eyes. So I shouldn't cover. It has to be able, you should be a little bit closer. Oh, yeah. should, I shouldn't cover my eyes. And your face also. <laughs> my face also? Yeah. All right. So, oops. All right. I could demonstrate the, the, the function of the, the eye yeah. tracking system by, by standing in front of the screen and, right. and grow and shrink. So, if I go in, yeah. I can show Sorry. you. Sorry. So, if the detection works, now I'm a small person. Yeah. And now I start to grow. And you grow, and, and you see that the, that, that, the, that the arrow is jumping. Yeah. It, so the, the position of the head is, is corrected. All right. Yeah, the, the fingertip position yeah. stays as it is. Okay. And, but because I'm, I'm a small person or yeah. large person, my 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 uh, arrow of view goes, right. goes downwards or upwards. So the so the the, the arrow is is following the, the movement. Nice. Go down. All right. Thanks.
Tack så mycket.